Hi there, it's Nicole for Simon Says Stamp, and today I have a card featuring the August 2015 card kit. I have used components from the kit as well as dyes and inks from the latest Splash of Color release from Simon Says Stamp. I started by die cutting this cream cardstock in the kit using the Hello Sunshine frame, and I'm going to go ahead and keep every little bit that I've die cut, the word sunshine, the word with hello, everything, all those little pieces you can see there on the right of the screen. Next, I am going to take some of the new wavy scallop stitches dies and I am going to be die cutting that inside piece for the frame using these and I'm going to, or using the smallest border from this and I'm going to be die cutting it in kind of a random type of pattern. I'm going to make it look somewhat like a beach scene with waves rolling into the sand. So I'm going to die cut that three times. It's going to give me four pieces to color. Next I'm going to take my little swatch ring here where I have my Simon Says Stamp ink pads stamped out in swatches and I am going to choose three shades of blue to color in my waves and I have chosen these three colors here spring rain scuba and high dive plus I'm going to be using the khaki ink to create my sand I'm going to use the ink blending tool to color in my cardstock if you watched my blog hop video I did something kind of similar with it and I just love how it turned out. If you love these colors of ink and want to find new ways to use them, this is a great way to get the most out of them. This was really the easiest way to create this scene. Simply because if I had tried to die cut it from several different colors of cardstock, it wouldn't have lined up perfectly each time or it would have been a ton of work to get each of these little pieces to line up and fit together like a puzzle. Because this one little piece came from the inside of this frame, I was able to take that piece and then cut it into smaller pieces and then fit it all back together. Now for the wave closest to the sand, I am using Spring Rain, which is gonna be my lightest color. Kinda of want it to look like that foam that rolls up right into the sand. I've le purposely left that one edge just a tiny bit lighter. These inks are dye inks, so as they absorb into the hard stock or into the paper, they are going to lighten a little bit and also the color will even out a bit and it won't be blotchy. My next color is the Scuba. Spring Rain and, Spring Rain and Scuba are both from the Color of Fun release, the last release from Simon Says Stamp, and they work together beautifully with the high dive ink from the Color of Fun release or if the splash of color release, pardon me. Lots of color going on there. And then finally I have high dive ink and this is the ink from the splash of color. I love this color. I love all three of these colors actually. There are just so many gorgeous colors in both releases. So color that in. I have a different foam for each color and I just save them and kind of have them marked with what uh, ink pad they go with so that I can reuse them. Next, I am taking the word sunshine and I'm going to use melon and apricot inks. Melon is from the Color of Fun release and apricot is from the Splash of Color release, but again, they work together beautifully. For this, I'm going to use more of a dabbing motion rather than a circular motion so I can get a two-tone greeting or word here. I've applied the melon to the top part of the word and I can flip it around, change out my foam, and then I'll apply apricot to the bottom part of the word. So every single part of this frame, the inside pieces anyway, have been colored with inks from the Simon Says Stamp collection. Again, the dye ink will kind of uh, fade just a little bit and also even out as the ink dries. There is what my little uh, scene, beach scene is looking like. I'm going to pop the word sunshine out real quick and take the Wink of Stella clear glitter brush marker and go over the entire word to give it a little bit of sparkle and shine. I want to do that before I place the word inside the frame permanently. 
Next, I am going to take the postage stamp die from Simon Says Stamp and also one of the frames dies from Simon Says Stamp. And I've already cut that little teeny tiny red skinny frame, but I'm going to cut it again so that I can do a little inlay, another inlay technique. I've got all that inlay technique going on with the beach scene, but I want my little postage stamp background to have that as well. I'm using one of the pattern papers from the kit and I'm going to place my postage stamp die down there and then I'm going to take the frame, place it inside, and I was really excited to see how well these work together. The little skinny frame comes with a scallop frame that it works nicely with, but it also works with this postage stamp frame so you can get lots of different looks. And I want to keep both of those components. And I'll just lay those to the side. You can kind of see those to the left there. I'm going to go ahead and take the flip-flops from the stamp set this month and stamp them on a scrap of white cardstock using Memento Tuxedo Black ink. And then I'm going to color them in with Copic markers. And I'm going to make them red with little gray straps to start with. There is not a coordinating die for these. However, very, very easy to cut out or fussy cut there with your scissors. So I'm not being terribly careful with my ink. If it gets outside the line there, that's no big deal because I'm going to be cutting that off. I laid down my base color, the R24. Then I kind of laid in my darkest color, the R39. And I'm going to go back in with R46, my mid tone color and pull out that dark and then go back in with my lightest R24 and blend that out. If it blends a little too much, which in this instance it did, I'll go back in with my darkest color and add just a little bit of shadowing and shading. Go ahead and flip that back around. And then I'm going to take C6 and C9 and color in those little flip flap flip flop straps. And I definitely want them to be a little on the darker side. So originally they were a little too light. So I went ahead and pulled in a little bit more of that C9 to darken them up. Now they're cute as is, but I wanted to give them a pattern. So I'm taking my white gel pen from Sakura and I am going to draw some lines. At first I thought I'd do a little bit uh, bolder lines and I decided that was going to take too long. <laughs> so I went ahead and went in with some skinny lines and Mostly those bolder lines on the bottom of that left flip-flop will be kind of be hidden. You'll see here in a little bit. So I'll draw in all those little lines and I think this just dresses up those flip-flops and makes them super fun. Now before I cut them out with my scissors, I'm going to take a craft knife and cut out those little tiny areas. I think it's much easier to do before you trim those out. Then I'll cut them out with my scissors and kind of lay them there and make sure everything looks good for my scene on my card. And I like how that looks. So I'm going to take my white gel pen and draw in some little sand detailing. Also, I did this very same technique on my blog hop card for the splash of color release or cards. But I love this look. I think it really gives the illusion of sand. After I have added all these white dots, I'm going to go ahead and go in with the Stardust pen that comes in the kit and go over these and it's going to give them just a little bit of sparkle and shine and really give that sand layer the illusion of a beach or sand. Go ahead and glue down my outside frame on a cream colored card base lay down some glue and then I'll put down that little teeny tiny skinny red frame. Make sure that everything is inlaying really nicely. Go ahead and lay down some adhesive in the center and place the rest of my frame there. And then we're going to build the next inlay by adhering the Hello Sunshine frame to the card. I'm adding some little dots of glue there and I'm going to offset it slightly. I don't want it to be perfectly straight because it's a little Polaroid looking frame. I kind of like adhering those slightly askew. And then I'll stamp the greeting from the stamp set from the kit that says life is better in flip-flops. So the greeting reads, hello sunshine, life is better in flip-flops. 
I think that's a fun little greeting there. Go ahead and apply some glue and I'm going to add the rest of my inlay pieces. And you can see there just how easy they go together. Go ahead and tuck my little flip-flops in place. Add a little liquid glue on the back of each of those. Get them both where they need to go. Now there are little inside pieces and I kept all of those. You might remember this from the beginning of the video and I'm using the quick stick tool to apply, or adhere those in the word sunshine. Now the ones that go in the word hello need to be brown and I kind of forgot to do that when I was coloring that layer so I just grabbed those and pounced on a little color and then adhered those inside the word hello. And that really finishes off the inlay design nicely and makes the word much easier to read. I used a little washi tape at the top and added one of the stickers from the sticker, uh, sticker sheet included in the kit. And I'll roll up the corners of the frame to give it the look of a, a worn Polaroid frame to finish off this card design. Thanks for watching this video showcasing the August 2015 Simon Says Stamp card kit. The supplies I've used to create this card are listed and linked below the video on YouTube. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.